G'day, come over here. Check this guy out. So what I've got here is the Bob Cooper survival kit. Now this thing's really interesting. It's a very, very small packet, but geez, it's got some stuff in it. Bob Cooper is famous for getting lost in the Australian desert many years ago and, and he survived. And since then he came up with this survival kit for anyone else out trekking and camping and whatnot. It's actually really handy. I wouldn't say this is the exact one he used, but there's probably some additions here that I reckon he might've wished he had while he was out there as well. But yeah, definitely a true survival kit. So, and something so small, you have that in your four wheel drive or your backpack, there's definitely some value in, uh, in all this gear here. And if you do get stuck, or lost on this very handy. Don't tell the guys at head office, but I'm gonna crack this thing open and show you guys. In this little case, we have so many bits and pieces. So in there, survival kit. It's gonna tell you what's in there, obviously, and its purposes. First up, we've got some plastic bags. So you can use this for tying onto trees to trap water. It can be used for waterproofing, windproofing. Very, very useful to have a good quality plastic bag in your kit. Pretty essential thing for starting a fire. The old uh, rubbing two sticks together can work, but it's hard. With this here, with a bit of kindling, you can make a fire very, very easy. Um, so that's another handy thing and essential. In this little pouch, we have a magnifying glass. Obviously, that's also gonna help you start a fire. Good little feature just to get things heating up. All right, so a bit of string or hoochie cord. Obviously, using that to, str to string up a bit of shelter or whatnot. There's many, many uses for a bit of string, so obviously, pretty handy thing to have. Got a little torch, little pen light. Makes sense, right, if you're gonna be stuck out in the middle of nowhere. A little bit of light, it's gonna get you a long way. So, we have a signaling mirror. That's a classic survival tool. When you've got uh, helicopters or aircraft come looking for you, flying above, you use that as a reflective signaling tool. We dig a little deep, we've got a little multi-tool. Crack that guy open, set of pliers, uh, a few other little features, little blades, files, screwdriver pieces on a uh, lanyard as well, so we can get close by. We have a knife, obviously pretty common sense. A knife is something you're gonna need in, in a sticky situation for many reasons. That is something that we would definitely need in a kit. So next we have some cotton pads, obviously pretty good for first aid if you've injured yourself or use it for kindling to start your fire if there's nothing else around. A pair of tweezers, basic first aid stuff. Band-aids, we have a sterile blade in there using to get splinters or whatever else out. Um, we have a small compass, obviously pretty essential to survival, uh, navigating your way out of where you are. If you've got a small piece of wire there, you can use that for lots of things like for you know, for fishing trace, um, just general repairs, snaring, all kinds of different things you might need to do. A sewing kit for any repairs you might need to do with your equipment. Survival whistle. Obviously, if uh, someone's trying to look for you, you can you want to make as much noise as you can so they can actually locate you. And last thing, for when you're bored, a pack of playing cards. Very, very small pack of playing cards. But, hey, you're going to be sitting around for days at a time waiting for somebody to come and rescue you. At least you have something to do. The important part of uh, surviving is morale. So if your spirits are up, you got much better chance of surviving. Another good thing about the instruction manual is for every item they give you a basic use, a list of suggestions for each item. So if you're not sure what the things are for or how you can get by, it's got that in there. It'll tell you exactly what you can use it for. Okay, so that's a basic overview of the Bob Cooper Survival Kit. It's a neat little thing we do in a tent world. Uh, not many people have seen this before. Uh, certainly not seen it open up. Like There's so much gear in here and so many useful things. Really handy thing to have. So if you've seen enough, jump on the website and order yourself one. Or if you want to come check it out in one of our stores, come and say good day. And as always, happy camping or surviving in this case.